Flames dying down at the opposition party's headquarters in Kinshasa. It's the aftermath of an arson attack that left two people dead, while another two sustained serious burns. We were attacked in the early morning when they came to burn the building. They beat us and we got injured. We were just wondering why they had to beat us like that. Are we not Congolese like them? He sent people at night to come and kill. My husband Stephen was also killed. He died instantly. According to witnesses, armed men set the buildings on fire overnight. The main opposition group blames the government. The targeted buildings included the leading opposition party, the Union for Democracy and Social Progress, as well as the Forces of Union and Solidarity and the Lumumbi's Progressive Movement. We will never give orders to attack any private or public property. But even if that were the case, a responsible government would seek out sanctions and those who are guilty. It does not react as a mafia militia like it did today, but rather as a responsible one. The government has denied its forces were involved. On Monday, at least 17 people died in violent protests in the capital, though the opposition alleges the number is far greater. Violent anti-government protests in DR Congo have escalated as pressure mounts on President Joseph Kabila to step down from his position when his term ends on December the 20th.